Hi everyone, Elisa with Joss Designs. In this video, I will show you the quick experiment I did using mica powders and silicone oil. I'll be using this glass candle plate that I picked up from the Dollar Tree, and it has little feet on the bottom so there's less you need to do to finish the project. I've got three-in-one silicone oil I picked up from Walmart, and I'll be using mostly Lorez Expressions mica powders. I've got blue sapphire and deep purple, I've also got Amethyst Dream and Grey Gala, and I will also be using some Silvery White I got in a set from Amazon, and that's really only because I currently don't have a white powder from Lorez. I'll be using Woodcrafters Epoxy Resin from the Epoxy Resin Store, it's a one-to-one -one ratio resin, and I had just enough left over for this project. I'll also be using the silicone sleeve from EcoArt Solutions to mix the resin. It's easy to clean off the resin, either cured or uncured, and then I won't waste a wooden stir stick. I'll be using a plastic cup in this one, as I currently do not have a silicone cup that would be just right for this project of just two ounces of resin. Make sure when you're mixing the resin that you stir thoroughly without whipping it around in the cup, and be sure to scrape the sides and the bottom of the containers as well as your stick. This helps to make sure that the resin is mixed thoroughly. I've got little plastic makeup spatulas for when I use small amounts in one ounce cups, and these are also easy to clean even if the resin has cured on them, so they're definitely reusable. I like to add the powder into the resin so that I can easily make sure I'm using the right amount of powder for the amount of resin. I will gently fold the powder in first, incorporating it all into the resin, and then gently stirring it in. This will make it so that the powder does not poof back into the air in my face, and you definitely do not want to be breathing this. And then I just basically poured each color, as puddle pour basically in here, and made sure I just used all of the resin. And I wanted to make sure that I ended with some white. And then I added the silicone oil in another cup and I'm just using a toothpick. I let it soak for just a short period of time. And then I'm just adding it um, one drop at a time here and doing opposite sides of the dish just so that they kind of spread out evenly. And I'll speed this up here so you can see the full effects. And the project did not end up with any divots or fish eyes from the silicone oil, but in case you come across them yourself, you'd want to thoroughly clean the surface with a cloth-like paper towel. Then clean thoroughly again with isopropyl alcohol and a cloth-like paper towel. I personally like to spray the surface after that with a clear sealant like polyurethane, and that's just for extra insurance against divots in the clear layer. It works like a charm every time. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick experiment and will try it yourself. I personally like the results I get from pastes over powders, but each can certainly have their own uses. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I've got links in the description for products I used and ways to support the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.